John Travolta, a veteran Hollywood actor, a narrow squad's career due to gender scandal. John Travolta is one of the veteran actor in Hollywood. During his acting career, he has appeared in many films and left strong impression with viewers and his fans, especially the 70s, 80s, and 90s generation audience. However, his life is through and the spills when he had to get over the pain of losing his child and his gay scandal that shocked fans. Austin Tryhard and First Row John Joseph Chavoker, aka John Chavota, was born on February 18, 1954, in Elgert, New Jersey, United States. His father is Salvatore Chavota, an American professional football player. Later, he became a tire salesman for a company. His mother, Helen Sinclair Brook, was an artist and singer. Since childhood, Chavota and her sibling has a lot of love for the arts. When they saw their mother standing on the stage full of glory, not only that, the Chavota family is also a multicultural family with an Italian American father and an Irish American mother. That's why Chavota saw Tantich play, play an artist. He easily received and promoted cognizant of different cultures. Chavota was raised in Ronan Catholic School. He attended high school in Missouri at the age of 17. Travolta then moved to New York City and joined the media company. He played a role in musical Grease on Broadway. A short time later, he moved to Los Angeles, California. Travolta landed a role here in September 1972, but his first major film's role was Billy Nolan in 1976, honor film career. Around the same time, Travolta played the role of Venice Beverino in the television sitcom Welcome Back Culture from 1975-1979, which was on ABC. Bright stars thanks to Saturday Night Fever. In the following years, in addition to acting, Travolta also pursued a singing career. He has single Let Her In. Surprisingly, when the first singer was released, it reached number 10 on the Hot Chats 100% Billboard in July 1976. After that success, Travolta returned to his acting career when Travolta was cast in the main lead in The Boy in Plastic Bubble, along with two other notable roles at Tony Marino in Saturday Night Fever, 1977, and Daniel Duco in 1978 film. The film in which Travolta acted was commercially successful, making him an international star. The Saturday Night Fever special bought Chavota an Oscar nomination for the Best Actor when he was only 24 years old. And he was also one of the youngest actors even to be nominated for an award. That movie contributed to popularize disco music around the world and helped Chavota, already famous, to be a known name even more. Saturday night craze aspect of music, dance, and other type of culture surrounding the disco area such as tunes with symphony orchestra style dress, especially the music in the movie Saturday Night Fever has become one of the best-selling albums in history. In 2010, Saturday Night Fever was set by US Library of Congress as of the cultural, historical, and aesthetic importance, and selected for preservation in the U.S. national film A Crife. After the success of Saturday Night Fever, John continued to take on the lead role in 18, 19 films Urban Cowboy, and this is a romantic love drama between the two main characters throughout the film. The two inspire young people by creating a music craze across the United States ups and downs in acting career. Perhaps the success of Urban Cowboy and Saturday Night Fever was so great that it was so difficult for a child voter to have a role that surpassed the glory of the two roles. So he struggled to find a role with a desire to shine again. However, life is not just a dream. When Travolta was immersed in lackluster roles that were not appreciated by the audience, the combination with the firm's daring Travolta but all fails miserably 
at the box office, such as Perfect in 1985, which greatly affected Travolta's career. Travolta recognizing the problem he was having and tried to find a way to fix it. He flocked into practicing both acting skill and improving his appearance. The peak of his training was he lost 9.7 kilograms in a month, during which time Travolta turned down a series of films, citing his focus on self-improvement. It wasn't until 1989 that Travolta decided to return to the screen in Lurk, Who Talking, which instantly growed $279 million, making it Travolta's most successful film since Greece. He then appears in Lurk, Who Is Talking To, 1990, a Lurk, Who Is Talking Now, 1993. However, Travolta returned with only recognized when he played Vincent Baker in 1994 pop fiction, a crime drama directed by Quentin Tarantino, for which Travolta was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor. After the success, Travolta's name was included in the list of Hollywood's ace stars. In 2000, Travolta stars and co produced the film Battlefield Arts based on the novel of the same name by Alrond Habas. However, the films received mostly negative reviews and the box office was very poor. Travolta's role in Battlefield Arts also earned him two Golden Raspberry Awards. During the 2000s, Travolta remained busy as an actor. Not only that, but he also voiced the animated films The Taking of Perham, 123, and O oh Dark in 2009. As of 2010, Travolta has participated, participated in many German films, both action and honor films. Breaking down from the pain of losing his own son, the career was peaceful when the big shock came to Travolta on January 2, 2009. Jet Travolta, his son, died suddenly after falling and hitting his head in the bathtub. John Travolta's relationship with his son very close, and the death made Travolta has completely broken. Nearly two years later, the audience could see Travolta again appear at the event. Only on November 30, 2010, Travolta announced that his wife gave birth to a healthy baby boy at Florida Hospital named Benjamin. Struggle with gay scandal. After the death of his son, perhaps best luck once again struck John Travolta when he was harassed by seven male victims in a row and revealed his reference for wearing women clothes. The incident began on the 4th May 2012 with a letter from a male message therapist named John Derry alleging John Travolta act at an offer to have sex with him followed by another massage therapist who also accused John Travolta of his action. There were seven next victims in a row to denounce the actor. The incident culminated when a photo of John Travolta wearing a dress and putting on flashy makeup like a woman was published in the newspaper with a caption. This is not a row of any movie, after which his wife also left her. This scandal really, really surprised the world. Hardly anyone would have expected the father of three to be gay and have such unacceptable harassment. John Travolta announced on July 12 that his wife, Katie Person, has passed away after a two years battle with breast cancer. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos.